Good morning. evening. Um, do you know what Mita does when we have Teflon in front of it? Nozoite Mita. Mita for Mitai, isn't it? Kind of, it is related to Miru and Mitai. Mita, I saw, I saw. Good guess. So when we see Mita after te form, it actually means to try, which is really interesting. I, I didn't teach you this. I kind of just I thought it was a different word over here. So this nozoite Mita means I try to look over somewhere. And this tends to be used in, in a way like you actually did do it. You know, it's not like I tried and I failed like otosuru which is to attempt. But this just kind of means that I haven't no zoku at this particular place before, so I decided to try to do it. Um, so most likely they do it, but this is like their first time kind of doing it. Like that. Um, do you remember what this verb was? Me. Was that Nagai? Was that long the character for long? It's actually that, that um, ha from um haru. To pull. So, um, it does show up in um hipparu. This is the ha. Ha. Mihatteita. Ha from haru means to stick. To attach. What do you think mihatteita means? Mihatteita was the uh, to uh, to guard something, right? Yeah, it's basically to keep an eye on something in a guarding like way. Mihatteita, perfect. Do you know what the negative form of mitsukaru is? Mitsukaru, negative form. Mitsukanai. It's actually mitsukaranai. Mitsukaranai. Hi. How do you, would you read this word? Mihari. Yep. So mihari comes from the verb we saw earlier, mihatte. But this right here is the noun for a guard. Mihari. Can you read this word for me? Futsu. Do you know what futsu means? Uh, meaning like something that is regularly happening? Yes. Yep, something normal, something regular. Can you read the sentence for me? Utsu no mihari wa ure no ii dorobo o mitsuke nai. Hai. The normal guarding. The mm, normal, normal guard, guards. The normal guards. Um, mitsuke nai did not find... The thief that is good with his hands. Yep. Normal guards do not find thieves that are good with their hands. So ude no i, good with their hands, is used to mean skillful. So they can't right. find skillful thieves. Okay. So toshitemo. Toshitemo is a way to say, even if this occurs, it doesn't really matter. For example, can you read this line up here for me? Dorobo wa... Shinme, Shinmen, Showmen, Showmen. Yep. Showmen Genkang no doa o nuketa toshitemo. You got it. Yep. Yashiki o nukeda senai. Hi. So even if you go through the door of the front um, hall. Specifically, even if a thief go gets through the door of the front hall, he will not be able to sneakily get out of the um, Twilight Mansion. So, so it doesn't really matter if he gets through the door because he's not going to be able to sneak out. How would I say even if there was a guard, they wouldn't see me? So this right here is what's going to be attached to the toshitemo, even if there was a guard. All right, so we want a construction that had a ita toshitemo at the end. Hi, hi, toshitemo. Yep, ita toshitemo. So a guard okay. is mihari. Yep. 
ミハリは言ったとしても Perfect. They wouldn't see me. How are you going to say that? Oren o Mitsu Karanai. Hi. That'd be Ga Orega Mitsu Karanai. So Mitsu would be.、Um, Oreo mitsu ke nai. Mitsu ke nai. So, this will be I、okay. will not be found versus if you don't want they to see you, that'd be the O mitsu ke nai. Mitsu ke nai. You can also say Ore ga mie nai. It's literally they will not be able to see me. Because mie do is to be able to see, and mie nai is not being able to see. Um, so はい、let's go read the line from the book. もし、ミハリがいたとしても、普通は目の高さのあたりしか見ない。見えないからしゃがんでいれば見つからない。はい。So, first, right here, this is みない。Because it's not saying みえる to be able to sing, it's saying みない as in to not look at. So, the only thing they look at for two is めの高さのあたり。Atari. What do you think? That, what is the things that the Mihari look at? The you know Atari, atari? is the surrounding. Yeah. Surroundings of what? Like at what level? Takasa. The high. You have the height of what? Me no takasa. The height. The level of, of the eye. Yeah. So basically, they see things at this level, but not really above it, nor really below it. That's the only things they see. Do you know what Moshi tells us? Moshi. Moshi. Moshi is a vocal way to say if. So, toshitemo is like the grammatical if. So, in Japanese, a lot of times you'll have two. Ifs or two becauses and stuff. Because some things are there for like a grammatical purpose and other times they're there as an actual word. So, moshi is like the word if and toshitemo is like grammatical if. So, a lot of times you'll see them together because of that.、Um, do you know what shagande means? Shagande iru. Shagamu, you say? Shagamu. Crouch. Yes. So, what is this Zedeba telling us? Shagande Ireba. So, that comes from Ireru. Good guess. It actually comes from Iru and in its、um, Eba form. Eba、um, is like a grammatical form that basically means if or when. So, if I crouch, then they will meet s k a r a n a i What does that mean? If I crouch, if I crouch, if I crouch, they would not see me. Yeah, they, I, I will not, not be found, basically. If I crouch, I will not be found. Okay, so let's do this all from the top. What is it saying?、Okay. If the guard. Even if there are guards. Yep. Futsu referring to regular, right?、Mm-hmm. Normally, typically. Yeah. So, in typical way,、uh, they would be looking at the level of their eyes 
and shika meaning only right shika except for so except for the levels of their eye they would not see so the only thing they would see are the thing that are at their eye levels yep then we got uh, kara kara and so jagande ireba if i crouch mitsukaranai i will be not i will not be found perfect nice okay now we're doing a kanji check what's this guy hmm gaki yep kagi ki kagi kagi our next word gawa means side the same kanji can be pronounced as soba just just so you know that randomly um but it's pronounced as gawa on the next page and i decided to keep these in there because it's kind of confusing if it's soba or gawa so let's go read this line magari kado no mukai gawa ni wa kabe shikanai ga kochi gawa no kabe no oku ni wa dou ga hitotsu ari futari no mihari ga atte iru at the corner of the turn So bukai is kind of hard here because theoretically it's like facing the corner, but since we have kochinogawa, we know kochinogawa is the gawa I'm at. So if you're going to look behind the corner right here, you're going to obviously be on this side of the wall, right? It makes no sense to go over here, right? Because then people will see you. You want to be on this side. So because of that, kochinogawa would be over here, right? So the opposite gawa of the wall would be over there. Because we're all talking about the side of this corner right here. Okay, so at the gawa of the mukai. At the gawa that is on the opposite side of the, at the corner of the turn. What is, what is on that gawa? Kabe shika na ga. Kabe shika na Yep. Nothing but the wall. Perfect. Uh, if I can clarify, the shika yes. form tend to go with a negative. Shika right? always goes with negative because shika means except, right? Except. So you can't, you, even in English, you can say, except for Sam, I give, I guess you could say, except for Sam, I give people presents. I get it. Yeah, I, I only ever see shika in Japanese in negative form. So that's why you can kind of think about that as that's why a lot of times you think about it as only. Okay. I'm pretty right. sure you can only see a little bit of negatives. That's an interesting thing to point out because you're right. That's not the same in English. Right, so nothing but wall. So however, however, kochi gawa no kabe no oku ni wa on the inner side of this side of the wall. Mm -hmm. so oku isn't really the word inner it's like the depths so it's saying when we go down this hallway a little bit that's what they mean by oku it's not really saying let's go into the wall so it's I not see. like this isn't really going on yes agree so um further down on this side the further down of the wall on this side there's one door. Futari no mihari ga two guards patte iru is standing. Perfect. Yep. So this is basically this drawing is what happened right here. Main character looks over the corner, he's crouching. Two guards over here guarding this door on the side of the wall. Other wall, nothing there. 
分かった。はい。So next is として、which is like on the basis of. Can you do me a favor and read this line for me? ドロボとして、ユガレ、ヤシキワ、ユグレ、ヤシキワ、コワイ。What is that saying? On the basis of the thief. Right? Because、yeah. he is a thief. Kind、know? of. With respect to him being a thief. Yeah. <laughs> the Twilight Mansion is scary. So, the Twilight Mansion is scary only because he is in the role of being a thief.、Yes. If he was an, an ambassador, yeah, exactly. It might not be an, scary. An official invitation、mm-hmm. to this on an、yeah. official business, it would、so、not be scary. So, this is basically a kind because... of baseline we're establishing. So, as a thief, you would find、as、this mansion、thief. scary. So, you can、He、say, like, if you're、unlawfully. in this role. <laughs> yep, exactly.、Right. So, that's why I have a very similar sentence right here on the bottom, which is, Higure no kimi toshite, yugure yashiki wa i yashiki da. So, as the Lord of Twilight, the Twilight Mansion is a nice mansion. He loves it. It's, it's、oh. his house, right? <laughs> from, the, from the perspective of. Yes. With respect to the Lord of the Mansions. Yes. It's a, it's a nice place. Yeah. So, it definitely can be used for very specific people.、Um, a lot of times it's used for some kind of role something has. So, it doesn't have to be a human role. It can also be used as like a job, for example. So, that's why I have like durable, master, twilight, things like that. So, you can also use this with other things. For example, you can say the room is being used as an office, is another way you can use this.、Um, Any guesses how you would say that as a sentence? So, as an office, we'd get toshite with it, which is、um, tumesho, is the word I'm using here. The room can be used as an office. Right. The room is being used as an office. Yep. So, the heya. And we'll say that is a wa. Heya wa. Um. Mesho was an office, isn't it? Ah,、uh, Tumesho. Tumesho. Toste. As an office. Sku, Sukau. Yep, Sukau. Perfect. So, be, so you, to be used as an office, basically. So, basically, say when we're talking about offices, this room is used as one, is kind of what that sentence is being used for. So. Kind of a weird sentence compared to when you use it with people, but、um, you, it's commonly used for things like that. So you might also see, like,、um, if a, in an anime, for example, you might be like, oh, I'm living in the role of someone's cat. You can also use toshite to、uh, do something like that. So it's for, yeah, as a cat, like,、uh, neko toshite kurashite ru. Could be, I'm living as someone's cat. So that、um, shows up in Natsume Jingcho because we have a yokai that's、um, pretending to be someone's cat. So that's his role, his job, in other words. So, if your job is a thief, this is scary. And if your job is an office, then that's what the room's being, <laughs> the room's job is as an office, basically. So, Toshite a lot of times kind of has like some kind of like job. But you can also use this, like, it's very commonly for like people, like, you might say, onna Toshite. So, as a woman, I blah, 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 or stuff like that. So, it、mm. is, it's, it's most commonly used like this, but this one is using the basis of an office as like an idea. The room is being used as an office. So rather than using t u m e s h o which while it does mean office, that's more like the guard room, right? In the, for when we think about office like a work office, like,、um, like with paperwork and stuff, that's more of a shitsumu shitsu. Shitsumu shitsu. Yep, shitsumu shitsu. So let's go read the line from the book. Higure no.、Um... Higure no kimi. Wa. Mada ano. He yao. Chitsumu. Chitsu toste. Skate iru. Rashi. Hi. This has a. So the, earlier we said he ya wa. Skate iru. Do you know why it's o here and not wa? He yao o. 
um it has there has to be a verb that yeah. associate with that or well it's because to use so the room isn't using itself someone else is using the room that's why we're using all so when you did one the last one you're saying as for the room so you're making the room into the topic in that case hey tsukatteru. as for this room it's being used versus somebody is using the room so this is normal wa but the sentence you made earlier would have been topic wa yes okay so what is the sentence saying the lord of twilight mada mada means still toshite tsukatte iru rashi the lord of twilight is still seems it seems like that the lord of twilight is still using that room as an office. Yep. Ah, oh, that's a suspicious sentence, isn't it? <laughs> um, hmm. let's go read the next line from the book. Neburi wa kito asoko da. Hi. And kito was something that happened just a while ago. Good guess. That's um. Saki. saki, saki, or just like saki together, but saki makes it more obvious. We're talking about this a little bit ago. Kito is definitely or for sure. So nevadi is for sure asoko. What asoko means that there. Mm -hmm, he there. is certainly over there. Exactly, somewhere far away from me. Okay, kanji check. Do, 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 do. How do you read this word? Mihari. Perfect, which is a guard. Do you know what, a, what mawasu means? To go in circle? To in yeah. circle? Specifically, it is to turn something. Mawasu. So turning something. Turn something. Can you read this word? Temai. Perfect. Temai. So temai means something like right in front of you, basically. Temai. Basically, it's in front and, and it's close enough you could touch it. Um, could you read this for me? Kado no temai ni aru. Do, doa no nobu o mawashite mita. I try to turn the nobu, the knob of the door that was in front of me. It, that No, no, that's what, in front of the corner. Yep, in front of the corner. So over here, that's right over here. So here's the corner, front of the corner, and it's like right before the corner. So behind the corner would be over there. So it's kind of, it's, it's in front of me. But it's also like the corner's door. So it's like both kind of. So that door. So not over there. Back here. Um, next word, itan. This normally means at once. But in the next context, it kind of means like a step. Kind of. Itan, like one step. So we have um, itan sagari. Do you know what sagaru meant? Sagaru. To lower, to lower yeah. something. It kind of means that. It means to take a, it means to like the withdrawal, to like take a step back, to walk backwards. Sagaru. This time it actually is sagaru and not <laughs> agaru. <laughs> um, so let's go read the line from the book. Magari kado kara itta itan sagari. Kato no te mae ni aru. Doa no nobu o mawashite mita. At the corner. At the turn from mm -hmm. the corner. Remember, he was crouching looking over here. What did he do? after? So he was crouching over there. 
Then from that location, he itan sagari. Itan describe the act of sagari. Yeah. Itan is slowly. It means at once, but I believe in this context it's more like one step. Like he 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 just kind of does sagari. <laughs> he takes a step back. So rather than going forward this way, he goes backwards, back down the hallway. So over here we have the guards. Remember. So rather than yes. trying to sneak through where those guards are, he takes a step back, and he goes through this door over here. That is next to him near the corner. So remember, he was peering over this corner, right? So he's taking a step back. So now he's at the door that's at the corner right here. And what does he do to this door? Kado no ta temai ni aru mawashi temita. I try to turn the knob of the door that is at the front of the corner. Yeah. So here's the corner and it's right in front of it. Right over here. Do you understand what happened with Khan? What did what did he do? Explain to me in English. Mm -hmm. So in the previous sentence, he approached the bed mm -hmm. at the corner. He crouched down and he he turned his gaze um towards the deeper end of where he on his side of the wall. Yes. And he saw that there was a door with two guards standing. Then what did he do? He retreated in one step back and um from the corner of the bend and he tried to open the knob of the door that is in front of the corner. Yes. Perfect. Um, any guesses how to read this word? Kagi. Yep. Uh, uh, ana. Yep. Kagiana. So Kagi this is ana. key and this is hole. Together it makes the word keyhole, just like in English. What are the chances? <laughs> Kagiana, Kagiana. Kagiana. Can you read this for me? Oops. Doa. Nobu no ueni okina kagi anaga haru. So there is a large keyhole on the top of the doorknob. Yep, above the doorknob, there is a huge ass um. Keyhole. So our next word, shinchu. This is brass. Shinchu. 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 Yeah, shinchu. And gotsu gotsu is kind of like um raggedy, I think, like rusted kind of gotsu gotsu. Bad gotsu, bad condition. Gotsu. Should be um glistened a little bit more. Can you read the sentence for me. Gotsu gotsu shita. No doa nob. So the doorknob um that is uh rusted brass. Not totally rusted. It's um it's worn, yeah. It's yeah, used. worn. Got got like like a whole bunch of different people were like, ah, I'm gonna claw my way through here. <laughs> got like brass. chip marks in it, basically. Use. So. Yeah. So it's not pika pika. It's like wow. <laughs> so the word Pikachu literally mean like sparkly or something? It does. Pika pika. You use it for something being sparkly brand new. <laughs> so, uh, pika pika. I never know that. So Pikachu <laughs> was like you always say pika pika because he's sparkly. He electric. Yep. He's electric mouse. Pikachu. I see. The... Hi, hi. Okay. So let's go read the line from the book. Got some interesting grammar moving about here. I, um, Okina Gaki Kagi. Oh, 
kagi okina kagi anaga ue ni aru gotsu gotsu shita shinju no doa no buddha right a large keyhole is on top and the brass doorknob there is <laughs> so this aru right here what do you think the form of it tells us is it like atte ari aruto how 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 what kind of connection is this aru telling us do you think It's an these... an? Well, no, it's not. A it would have been an it's adi not... if that was an an. So adi right here tells us this is a relative clause. The comma oh. is here for readability. If the comma wasn't here, then it's kind of like got all this stuff right here. That's kind of just being used to describe the dual nabu, right? Well, this adu is also describing directly the door knob. It's not describing the brass or the raggediness. It's describing the doorknob. So they put that comma in there so that it's easier to read while also making it harder to read by moving everything around to this kind of like order of a sentence. That's a language learner. But yeah, that comma is there because otherwise it feels like it's really just like ah, all flowing together. Tells you, take a breath. And we're because we're describing doorknob still. So in other words, this is... There exists, um, so there is a large doorknob that you're right, it exists. And however, this right here, this doorknob, this is doorknob is ue. Because what is what is above mean in this context? You're just saying above there is a large there is a large keyhole. Above what, right? What is above is not defined right now. So because of that, we can assume dōnabu is being used with the above area. That, that's been taken out like that. Okay, that is... Uh, that's strange to me. Because when I read it, I see the ga marking the subject that come that... And then there's the verb aru that come afterward. So the subject is aruing. The subject exists. Mm. Where does it where does it exist? It exists on the top. Yeah, so that is what it's doing. You're correct. So relative clauses do not need to describe the subject of the sentence. Relative clauses can describe their objects. So if let's do a funny sentence. Um sa let's do um kon wa. Bob Bo o Koroshita. A relative clause could of this could be Bo o sorry Bo bu, o Koroshita Kon. This is kind of what we tend to see, but there's nothing wrong with um Kan ga Koroshita Bo. These are both relative clauses we can make with the above sentence. This is why particles are really important because they help us know what the heck and who is going on with these weird ass relative clauses. So both of these are ways this sentence can turn into. So yeah, I think this is actually our first time we actually see in this book um, the not subject um, relative clause relative closeting. So yeah, isn't that interesting? Bob wo koroshita kon. Kon ga koroshita bob. So this is bo that was killed by kon. Another one is kon who killed bo. Oops. So in, in our case then, hmm. The knob, the knob that is being on top, yes, of 
the keyhole. So the keyhole is actually on the on the underside of the yes. of the knob. Yeah. Yep. My brain is still not wrapping. I I I understand your explanations, but because this sentence is so long that like I know if I if I were to encounter something like this again next time, I would still gravitate towards the uh, the typical construction of subject verb and it, it would mess me up again for sure yep it is definitely confusing but as you see it you'll get more and more so yep it is um above the keyhole is a doorknob above the keyhole is the doorknob yeah <laughs> the doorknob that is above the keyhole yes um, even like you say like 20 times and it sounds more wrong whenever you <laughs> about um so you've seen mawasu donabo mawasu you can also say donabo ga mawashita which means the doorknob was spun the doorknob had been turned um mawaru any guesses what the knife form would be Mawaranai. Mawaranai. Perfect. Um, can you read this for me? Gaki. No, is it Gaki? Kagi. 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 <laughs> it's I can't fight my dyslexia. It's like it it just switches the sound on me. <laughs> Kagi. Uh, kagi ga kakatte ite mawara nai. Um, it's saying that the key was kakatte ita. It was locked. The door, the, the lock was locked. Right. And mawara nai can't, and the lock cannot be turned. Perfect. Yep. So now it's our halfway point. So it's time to stop our meeting, and I'll see you in two seconds.